Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here, and today I'm going to show you how we can take Microsoft Excel, wrap it up, and embed it inside of our WPF.NET Core applications. How are we going to do this? Easy. We're going to use the Infragistic XAM spreadsheet control. We're going to take an Excel document on disk, we're going to load it into our application, then, using the data within that spreadsheet, we're going to dynamically generate a chart, embed that chart into the spreadsheet, then display that Excel spreadsheet to our users in our WPF application. Sound like fun? It's gonna be. Roll that intro! Wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Did you subscribe yet? No? What are you waiting for? D subscribe! Subscribe right now! And, and turn on notifications! You got that? Okay, good. Ready? You good? Alright. Now, roll that intro! The application we are working with today is a very simple WPF application that's built with .NET Core 3.1. As you can see, we have a spreadsheet in here called Chart Data. Let's open this up and look at what we have. As you can see, we have a very simple spreadsheet with some data. It looks like we have some expenses, one through five, and those expenses are divided up by month, January through December. What we want to do is we want to load this spreadsheet into our WPF application, display it, and add a chart. So let's do that. The first step is to add some NuGet packages. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. I'm going to make sure my package source is in my local Infragistics NuGet source. Simply going to type in Spreadsheet. This is going to load the WPF Spreadsheet Control. I'm going to add that to my project, install that NuGet package, accept all my dependencies, and wait for it to install. Now that my NuGet packages have been added, what I want to do is I want to add the XAM Spreadsheet component to my view. Now this hasn't been added yet, so I'm going to use the quick action light bulb to add my namespace. Now we can see we have a spreadsheet. Let's go ahead and give this spreadsheet a name, say something like spreadsheet. Now the next step is to actually load our spreadsheet into our spreadsheet control. So let's go into our main window code behind. I'm going to add an event handler for the loaded event. And in this event, I want to load that spreadsheet. So to do that, let's create a variable to hold our file path to that file. And let's just do something like path.combine, we'll say environment.current directory, and we'll combine that with the name of our spreadsheet, which in this case is chart-data.xlsx. Now that we have the file, let's go ahead and load this file into a workbook object. So we'll say workbook, we'll need to add our namespace, equals workbook.load, and we'll pass in our file path. Now that we have our workbook loaded, let's go ahead and set the spreadsheet.workbook equal to our newly loaded workbook and I'll run the application. As you can see, the application is running and we have indeed loaded our Excel workbook into our XAM spreadsheet control. We can see our expenses and we can see the months and all of the numbers that represent each expense for each row. So the next step is we want to actually create a chart in code and add it to the spreadsheet control. So let's go ahead and make note that we want the chart to start in A1 and we want it to extend all the way through M1. So the first step to do this is we need to get the sheet from the workbook. So we'll say var sheet equals workbook dot worksheets. We'll get the first one index of zero. Now that we have the sheet, let's go ahead and add our charts. However, before we can add charts, we have to add another NuGet package. Let's go ahead, manage our NuGet package. We're gonna browse for spreadsheet we'll see that we have our infragistics.wpf.spreadsheet.charts. This is the NuGet package we'd like to add, except our dependencies. Now what we want to do is we're going to say worksheet chart equals sheet.shapes.addChart. Now the first argument to this method is the chart type. So we're going to make the chart type, let's say a line chart. The next argument that we're going to use is actually going to be the top left corner of the position of this chart. So this is obviously gonna be A1. So let's go ahead and create a worksheet cell. We'll call this top left. And this is going to be sheet.get cell. And the cell is going to be A1. Let's go ahead and provide our top left cell. Next, we have our top left corner position. In this case, it's going to be a new point of zero, zero. This is the top left corner of our chart. Now what we need is we need our bottom right corner cell. So this is going to be another worksheet cell, bottom right. This is going to be the sheet 
hit sell. And remember, we want it to end in M1. So we're going to say M1. So here we can provide our bottom right. And then the next argument is the bottom right corner position. This is going to be a new point. We're going to make this 100, 100, because this is going to be the very bottom right position of that cell. Now that we have the chart, the next step is to actually provide the chart with data. Chart, set, source data. And here we're going to provide the range of the data. In this case, we want B3 through M8. Okay, let's go ahead and run and see what we have so far. As you can see, nothing happened. Well, what's going on? I defined my chart. I specified A1 through M1. I gave the data of B3 all the way through M8. Uh, what's going on, Brian? Well, there's one more step to displaying charts in the spreadsheet control. What we have to do is we have to go back into the UI. I'm going to say IG Zam Spreadsheet dot chart adapter. Then we just define a new instance of a chart adapter. Now that we have defined our chart adapter, let's go ahead and run the application again and see what happens. Well, the application's running and we can see, well, you know, we have some lines, we have some charts. That's pretty cool, but something isn't quite right. I'm not seeing any of my months at the bottom of this axis here and the, the lines just don't look right. Well, what's going on? Well, what's going on is that our data is actually row based. So if you look at the set source of data options here, we have a plot by rows option. By default, this is false, but we want to set it to true in order to plot by rows where each row is a separate series. So we'll set that to true, run the application again, and now you can see the application's running and we have our line chart that accurately plots all the data and the data portion of our spreadsheet. We can also see that we have each month on the X axis of this chart. And what's great about this is if I update the data in this control, the chart will reflect those changes, which that's actually pretty freaking neat. But that's it. That's how easy it is to load a spreadsheet, add a chart and display that chart in your native WPF.NET Core applications.